So here's a little secret to game development that probably doesn't get talked about enough. We can do everything. Think about it. We can do anything in the world. We can make the craziest gameplay, the coolest looking characters. We can do anything. The one thing we can't do is do all of that and do it in perf. Meaning it's performant, meaning it runs on a whole range of systems because games that run on a potato will sell a ton more, especially in Eastern Europe and China, than high-end games. And while you want to make your game look pretty and you want to have that high-end visual and you want to make a version of that that is on high-end, it also got to run on everything else. And so a lot of like people who have like a high-end computer think like, oh, this is what all people look like at their games. And then they go look at their friend's house, right? And their friend's got a 386 or something, you know, but you know what I'm saying. And it's like, yeah. And so perf, 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 because we can do anything in games, it's getting to be performant. That's um, one of the community modders modded up uh, the Anacrusis and they had made a change with the, the flasher and they made it just like so many comments. And the minute the comments hit, it just got super laggy. And it's not the game's fault. It's just like, yeah, we have more, we already have more aliens and zombies and stuff on screen than we ever had in Left 4 Dead or anything like that. But there's still a limit. There's still a performance limit, right? And I know World War Z because that's, they made their whole game about that. So there can't be performing in other ways. And so the game's like, right, it's always a trade-off. It's always a trade-off of making sure it's performant. Um, and we'll never not be that because it'll always be an arms race of wanting more and doing more. We're already thinking about like, go, go play a game from 20 years ago. And what's on the screen is so much less than what's on the screen now. And it wasn't just a design choice, but often it was just performance. And as I was explaining to someone today, of uh, we have engineers, we had we had engineers at Valve, and they still do, uh, that do nothing but performance work. And they will just go back through, and they'll go through other really senior people's code, and they'll make it performant, they'll make it use less memory, they'll make it just more efficient. And it is just an unfun, unsexy part of game development. But you can do anything you want, as long as you don't care about performance. And it's funny because I'm doing my own little thing on the side here this year while I kind of take a year off in a way. Um, and one of the things is I make all the maps like self-contained because then I can do almost anything because you can put a lot of stuff in one map. You just can't have it be in a big map. You can't have it have a bunch of it, but you can have one, one. And that's how I get around performance because I'm not smart enough to fix it for real. Actually, I also decimate textures because who cares about textures? Is it, you're not going to be like, this game's fun because the cars are 4K textures. You're going to be like, this game's fun because me dodging the cars was fun, right? So it's a trade-offs we make. But it is performance, performance, performance.